Hello fellow plot quizzers, today we got a discourse on inequality by Rousseau. And well, let's get right on to it. So, some guy in back in the day was like, hey, it might, it's a great idea to add, write an essay prompt for literally anyone on, hey, where did inequality come from? And Rousseau, although he, although that guy probably meant, hey, how do we solve inequality within our current society, casually went, well, society is the reason for inequality. And let me outline his logic, okay? Some stupid guy came up, he made a fence, said that was his property. There are, the other people there were stupid enough to say, hey, okay, that's your property, that's yours. And that was the start of all evil. Because people started getting property, people started getting things, people started to gain momentum, people started to create societies and hierarchies, and inequality was born. Uh, with then language, right? Language to communicate with each other was developed, and that made sure that everyone could, you know, look at themselves and look at another person and go, hey, that person is better than me. That person is a higher hierarchy than me. I don't like that. That's unequal. Language allowed us human beings to rank ourselves and realize that well, me is no better than this guy or this guy is better than me. So that created inequality. And the, the summer point is, if we go back to the caveman ages when we were the natural men just focused on eating and sleeping and having sex, then there will be no inequality because the savage or the natural man, as Rousseau calls it, is a good person because they just act in self-interest. They walk around and freaking nothing, uh, kill to eat and only fights in self-defense and doesn't really interact with any other human being. So there's literally no chance of inequality ever happening. It's like, you know, that gamer like um, shut in. That like just their only all they do is play video games all day. They don't socialize, and when people ask them, "Hey, do you go outside? Have you touched grass?" They're like, "Nope, I don't touch grass. Socializing is overrated." And you ask why? Why do you not socialize? And he says, "Well, I'm just avoiding the chance that I'll get bullied." And and everyone's just like, "Why though? Like, don't isn't." having a society or socializing, having relationships worth risking the f risking the possibility of getting bullied? And he goes, well, no, because video games, socializing is overrated. And it's, it's the exact same logic because the, Russo was saying, hey, let's just, if we go back to the caveman ages where we literally couldn't talk to each other, we lived alone with maybe a partner and some kids, all we focused on was eating, sleeping, and having sex, then we will, there will be no inequality because number one, there would be no one else to be unequal to. Number two, even if there were other people, then you couldn't freaking talk to them, so you wouldn't even realize that you are unequal from them. Therefore, this concept of inequality would freaking disappear. And basically, that's, well, okay, that makes sense. It's, it's logical, I suppose, but... It's not the root of the issue because the thing is like society prevents a lot of things including you know people killing each other for no reason or Or taking each other's lives, you know and laws and things that we kind of want in a society is to be protected is to live a happy and prosperous life medical care like what if you get sick and you're just alone you're the natural man then uh, what are you supposed to do? You, you just die in a ditch, maybe get eaten by a tiger or killed by another another savage, I mean, natural man. Like, there's nothing you can do. Society gives us a ton of benefits. And because of that, of course, it's a high-risk, high-reward situation. There's the risk of crime. There's the risk of inequality. But we, we as a society, try to reduce that percentage of inequality the best we can instead of trying to go back to the caveman ages and go back to killing each other because that's a more productive way to spend our time. It's, it's like saying, hey, my gun is broken. Can you fix it? And Russo takes the gun and goes, yeah, it's broken. And he throws it away and goes, the gun is gone. The problem is gone out of sight, out of mind. 
That's uh, no, that's not how that works. And although Rousseau's work is influential in the sense that he very much promoted like naturalism, like going back to the caveman age, it kind of reminds me of those like TikTokers, like the Lever King or whatever people who are like, "Yeah, let's go back to the natural ages. Let's go back to the caveman ages. Ooga booga. It's, it was way better than now." Um, no, it wasn't. It's uh, our digitalized and ultra modern age is actually far better than dying every thirty seconds. So. I don't know, man. So, as a summary, Rousseau believes that all of our inequality came from creating a society, creating laws, creating property, and talking to each other. Therefore, if we get rid of all of those things, live alone as a savage, have sex, eat, and sleep, and that's only the three things you know how to do, then we won't be an equal anymore. Everyone will be equal in the sense that everyone sucks. We shouldn't be making equality by making everyone bad we should be making equality to make everyone good and that's what current society is trying to do so in that sense it's flawed but eh, we got the logic um it's an interesting read considering it kind of feels like you're reading a book from a antisocial hermit who locked themselves in a cave um and eats mushrooms that probably are poisonous and I mean, I don't know. I mean, Rousseau, for all I know, could have been entirely sarcastic while writing the entire book, considering he kind of renounces a lot of things he says in discourse later on with his later works and his more educational works. And the the thing about Rousseau is that maybe he was just trying to answer the prompt in the most realistic and kind of funny way. It's the same thing as Machiavelli has done within The Prince, which is. Hey, you want to get rid of inequal? You want to get rid of inequality? Get rid of society, because if there's no people, there's no war, there's no inequality, right? And I mean, that's technically the right answer. So maybe he was just going for a more humorous, witty answer, or he was absolutely completely serious. Who knows? But it still gives the impression of I'm reading some something from an antisocial. 80 year old man who was crushed was dumped by his wife three days ago or something and that's my perception on the book it's well written it's logical it's uh, it's a lot there's a lot of thinking going on there which is cool except I just don't agree with it and I even agree with boring people like Hume Spinoza and Locke more than this but it's, it's pretty it's a good book uh, it's an interesting read again. It it kind of you kind of lose brain cells as you do read it. But again, who knows? It might be just absolutely satirical. Who am I to judge Rousseau? He's probably a lot smarter than I am. So that's about it. And like always, your plot cluster, Aaron, a plot cluster would recommend to people who want to lose some brain cells or gain an interesting new perception on society and how we live. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye. Mm-hmm.